Yo, what is going on guys? Warcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. And we do have a update 32 combat review from the combat team actually, Zoss Gilliam. Uh, this is posted at 2.20 today and we're going to kind of briefly go through this. I, I glanced through it and there are some high points I do want to touch on, but I'll go through the entire thing here. I'll zoom in so you guys can see it. Greetings. It's about that time again. We have another update coming soon, even though update 31 just released on console last week. With a new PTS update lurking around the corner, the combat team wanted to give you all some deep dives into the spicier stuff coming with this upcoming patch. Uh, it, I don't, I don't know what uh, what spicy means, but uh, you know, more uh, more proc sets, huh? Yeah. <laughs> In the last update, we tried to keep things simpler with a number of changes to help combat the change fatigue. Many have been. Many have reported, but progress cannot sleep for long as we march ever forward to improving the game. Our focus in update 32 is twofold. This should be good. Improving proc set balance and continuing the hybridization improvements for previous updates. Very cool. I really do want to make some badass hybrid builds, but uh, it's hard to do so at this time. These areas are the topics we've seen a significant amount of discussion now on the realms and combat balance. We're following up and trying to get better reigns on both thank god i mean especially this patch with the, the proc sets but i think that was just kind of a gimmick to uh get people to to buy the dlc but anyway in update 30 we introduced item proc set scaling which aimed to lower the ease of access of free damage <laughs> rothgar is uh very much free damage and healing from them by ensuring you need a baseline of stats to make this set really stand out well that's uh it's not very true. Hrothgar doesn't scale off your uh, your spell damage there, bud. But uh, while this did help significantly reduce the overbearing success of tanky builds utilizing damage-oriented sets, it also increased the amount of damage that glass cans and more offensive-oriented builds did by a reasonable margin, which uh, would make sense. This, while an intentional result, still has the issue of the power available when stacking multiple of these sets and how certain combinations are leading to very binary and unengaging gameplay. To target that issue, we're introducing a new rule set for offensive items in the set that have low counterplay. Okay. Now, when wearing a set that deals a burst of damage within a four second window, it will prevent any other use of these types of sets for one second. That's exactly what everyone's been talking about for Rothgar. For example, you get hit by one Rothgar proc, you cannot get hit by any other instance of damage within that time. That That's a really great change. Suggested that the other day on stream. That's, uh, yeah, I, uh, I like that. This is, this is to deny the ability to layer multiple effects into single attacks, specifically reducing potential bursts. This rule set will be explained in further detail in the PTS patch notes, and keep in mind we are open to adjusting this along the way. Alright guys, we're going to do a full stream on this for sure, for sure. On the PTS, kind of see what and all is going on, and try to get our opinions out there. This being a small channel probably won't, uh, catch much traction but you never know in relation to this we're also aiming our sights on reigning and some of the power creep that's been coming into the games as of late particularly affecting pve okay the dominance of critical hits in eso is by no means new and despite the reduction to the overall sourcing of it we're still seeing it win out by a significant margin when compared to other stats rather than outright nerfing critical chance or potency and hurting builds that aren't really doing more than what you expect, we decided to move forward with a hard cap to critical damage and healing. It is our hope that this keeps critical chance and potency as viable as powerful stats, but also helps open up other stat and build paths. Much like the penetration stats, these will be important to prioritize up until a point, and from their builds, we'll want to seek other sources of power. Okay, so they're pretty much you know, just putting a soft cap on everything or hard cap or however you want to go about it that's uh yeah that's a good idea i i don't play a lot of pve so i'm not like a this pve hardened veteran i'm run, running all this cheesy shit to like one shot trial bosses i, I, I don't know anything about that guys but um yeah for, for you pve guys out there like i didn't realize that was an issue i mean i i thought you know having i guess this makes it like not as much of a challenge i guess i i don't I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it at that. To tie, to tie things up in the proc set and critical topics for this update, we're also making a fairly significant adjustment that we hope the previous 
mission changes will prevent from becoming too out of hand. Proc sets that scale with your weapon, spell damage, magic, or stamina will now once again be able to critically strike in update 32. Is this only in PvE or PvP? If this is only in PvE, I agree with this. If this is in PvP, no. Be for the simple fact that you guys already, no offense, cannot balance the game with proc sets. And now you're trying to add crit the critical strike effect back that that's more balancing that will not get done. That's 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 just how it is. I really hope this is only for PvE. By doing this, in addition to reducing the burst potential when stacking these sets and limiting the amount they can critically strike for, we hope to give these sets some much needed love in PvE situations where they've struggled to maintain viability after the removal of their ability to critically strike in ye years of old. Okay, there will be an additional balance adjustments to these values and try to prevent them from becoming the best in slot. And we have rules on which ones cannot and cannot crit. So keep your eyes peeled out for the list and details in the PTS patch notes. The simple fix to this is have PVE abilities and PVP abilities. So for example, uh, like in Final Fantasy, like when you go into PvP, the abilities completely change. So you have the PvE abilities, again, you know, they, they do their thing, and then when you go into a PvP environment, these abilities are completely different. And they're balanced independently of PvE, so you don't have to worry about that balance. I wish you guys, Zoss, would do that. Just segregate PvE abilities and PvP abilities so that the PvE team can work on balancing there, and then PvP can work on balancing there, and those two do not have to intermingle whatsoever, so there's no confusion, and you can get better results that way. I feel that that's just how these games need to be done, but anyway. Aside from these changes and the usual bug fixing and less flashy global adjustments, like some long overdue Dragon Knight love, yes, let, let's please, for the love of God, Fix fossilize and, and leap that that, that 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 we can't use half our kit sometimes, guys. Like if you guys don't main DK, like you, you don't understand the struggles. It's been like this for like two years. Like like especially in IC, like, it, there's a targeting bug with your leap, and you you can't even use it. You have to go through a door or use your ultimate swap ults, and same thing with fossilize. And it's just DK needs a love. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, we have one more big change coming to this update, as mentioned before. Hybridization improvements have been a push in many updates ever since Champion Point 2.0 was released in Update 29. And it's something we're continuing to see. Oh, wait. Continuing with as we see a lot of good it does. That's kind of weird wording. Maybe I'm just looking at the wrong. ESO has always tried to hold itself to the mantra to the mantra of play the way you want, but a lot of our stats and ability calculations actually push against this concept in ways we find less than ideal. Yeah, people like myself find a way to break the game with OP process because you guys don't play test in PvP. No offense. Again, PvE, yes you do. PvP, you do not. That's why you need to segregate the skills and sets thereof. In update 32, we're taking the next big approach to change the concept of what hybrid on what a hybrid is by making all item sets grant hybrid stats. This means sets that grant weapon damage will now grant weapon and spell damage, spell penetration, physical penetration, yada yada, spell critical, weapon critical. Okay. With this change, we hope to open up builds to new abilities and ideas, make the game more digestible and understandable to new players, and empower you with choices creating your dream build. This, I mean, this is cool. But again, who's going to keep up with the balancing once things go out of whack? Just, just keep up with it, Ryuji. I would, I would like to play my Sork differently. Other than always having curse, frag, you know, like streak on your bars. Like I, I would like to have like some skill trees of abilities too, you know. I, I don't know. I just feel that like everything's too, already too cut and dry. Like you have two morphs to one ability. That's, that's kind of lame. The way I picture this as you should have frags okay or let, let's take no no for example let's take uh uh let's do uh, burning embers for example burning embers you should be able to spec out burning embers and what i mean by that is burning embers has a slow effect it has a heal effect it has a damage over time effect right so i think you should be able to fine tune that like for example you morph it into burning embers that has a bigger dot morph it into burning embers that has a bigger hill you know etc etc better slow i think that's how the the morphing should work you know the 
but uh, I mean, it kind of does like that to an extent. But I feel that each ability should be a little bit more customizable than what it is now. Our focus with this upcoming PTS update will be heavily concentrated on ensuring that the item set proc adjustments with creating a prevention release in a way that improves the gameplay balance. And we'll be keeping a close eye on those topics. We look forward to seeing the myriad of discussions that pop up. As we know, there will be much to theory, craft, and mull over. Thanks for reading, and see you in Tamriel. No, you won't see us in Tamriel. <laughs> But that's besides the point. But yeah, that's a pretty decent little update. A lot, lot of combat changes, guys. Um, let me know what you think. I especially appreciate the clause about some long overdue Dragonite love. Uh, let me know. Can I, can we get a make ESO great again down in the comments, right? Make or make Mag DK great again for in that regard. But yeah, just want to bring this to your guys' attention. So they are kind of looking over things. Time will tell. We'll definitely be playing this on the PTS to give you guys a first-hand look. And that's all I had. You guys take care.